Sark, 125 Wall Street, Wilshire. Uh, I, I just came here to basically ask council, uh, because of the financial straits the city is in, to pass a motion to stop all benefits for part-time council members, to also stop buyouts. If we could uh, have a motion or something like that, that would be great. Uh, and as far as the Sherman Hills ordinance, um, I'm just a little confused as they are. I'm also a landlord in the city, and the way I understand the ordinance, and, and Mr. Minsko, you might be able to help me out if I'm incorrect, but they are a for-profit enterprise, a, a privately owned uh, complex, and the size of their complex should be irrelevant to our, our landlord-tenant ordinance. They should be getting inspected each time a tenant moves in, out, whatever, just like any other uh, landlord in the city, they should be paying a $35 fee and a $35 licensing fee. And in the event any of their resident or their their units become uninhabitable and shut down by our court office, wouldn't they lose their business license as well? Mm -hmm. Which would then shut the entire complex down. The size of the complex doesn't seem relevant. If if I weren't, and, and in fact I was cited under the, the landlord tenant ordinance, even though I did have my building inspected. And the person at the time said it was just inspected as a daycare, go ahead and rent it. And because we didn't get the rental inspection, we were cited, we paid the fee, and we continued to maintain our business license. But I'm just confused as to how the size of the complex, whether you have one apartment or you have 50 apartments, that shouldn't matter as far as rental, the, the landlord tenant ordinance. So can you yeah. shed some light on that? We are looking into that and actually working with. Uh, the uh, appeals board and rewriting chapter seven in its entirety. Uh, Mr. Fraud and myself, Mr. Simonson, have been working on that and uh, Mr. McLaughlin since uh, about May and putting all this in in anticipation of the budget coming up and as well as making sure that everything is inspected properly. The Sherman Hills issue, as uh, Councilman Barrett has uh, addressed and also has been uh, looking into for quite some time. Uh, will be addressed in the next week or so. Be, in fact, a meeting uh, notice has come up just in the last uh, two hours to, to make sure that this is addressed. So the size of the complex, you're right, does not matter in terms of this issue. Uh, but we're looking to make sure that we have everything addressed from a legal perspective uh, before we go ahead and, and uh, force implementation. But that, that will be addressed.